Well, the University of Pittsburgh is celebrating the legacy of the first black woman to ever practice pharmacy in Pennsylvania. And turns out, like many things, that legacy began right here in the city of Pittsburgh. And Royce Jones is here in the studio with more on the big commemoration that happened today. Hey, Royce. Hey, you guys. So the University of Pittsburgh is honoring her with this, the Ella P. Stewart Conference Room, which also includes a portrait of the pharmacist. Now, both were unveiled on campus today. Students have been advocating for years to have some sort of dedication for her, and they're thrilled that their years of work to make this project happen finally came to fruition today. We now get to speak not only about the history that Dr. Stewart made, but the future she carved. Her work as a civil rights activist, as the American delegate to the International Conference of Women of the World, as a goodwill ambassador for the U.S., and as a member of UNESCO. She is the definition of true professionalism, someone who constantly is fighting for better. Ella P. Stewart's name should never die. I'm so proud of all the people in this room um, who has helped her legacy continue to live. And that Ella P. Stewart conference room, as well as that portrait that you see there, those are both located on the fifth floor of Salk Hall at Pitt, if for some reason you ever need to go there. In the studio, I'm Royce Jones, Katie Gay News.